If you're watching this, you're most likely aware that I recently changed my name on Twitter to Cyprian and changed my Twitter handle to Cyprianus. I wanted to give a brief explanation of this move. This will put future changes in context as well as give me a video I can share with the people who will inevitably ask about this change in the near future. Upon seeing this change, a few people referred to it as a rebrand. This is an interesting term that I hope to explore in future conversations and writing. In short, a brand is a sign permanently burned into the skin of livestock to identify to whom that animal belongs. It is an appropriate word on many levels in the current context. Vin Armani is not my birth name. It was a name given to me in 2010 by my agent, Garen James, to use as a stage name when we first began filming Gigolos, the TV show in which I starred. I was 31 years old when I took on that brand. For the preceding 10 years, I had used another name, also not my birth name, both personally and professionally. That name was given to me at age 19 by my close friends. So, for my entire adult life, I have used and cultivated personal brands that included introducing myself by names different from the one on my birth certificate. Cyprian is the name given to me by my spiritual father, an Orthodox Christian priest, upon accepting me into the church through baptism and chrismation after I completed my catechism. This ceremony occurred on June 9th on the island of Saipan. My spiritual father and my godfather, a reader in the church, this is a minor order of clergy, traveled here and performed the first Orthodox services ever held on this island. I look forward to sharing the details of those events in the future in a format that is properly reverential. My Christian name is in honor of St. Cyprian of Antioch, a powerful pagan sorcerer, a man who was able to summon and speak with Satan himself, who became a servant of Christ and eventually rose to the rank of bishop after seeing how the demons he summoned were powerless against the sign of the cross and pious prayer wielded by the young Christian virgin, St. Justina. Saints Cyprian and Justina were martyred together in the year 304. I have been on a journey for several years now that has led me to this point. Those of you who have been following and enjoying my work over the years will no doubt get great value out of what is to come. I have now fully embraced and been adopted by a brand, a tradition, with millennia worth of wisdom that I will bring to bear in my work and my life. Thank you for your attention.